to Washington. And I'm Pat Shiraki. That homeowner was able to call 911, but then collapsed just as emergency crews arrived. It happened on Hidden Hollow Avenue. That's in Sicklerville, New Jersey. Eyewitness News reporter Jen Carabeo tells us what officials think went wrong. Lucky to be alive. That's how firefighters describe one Sicklerville family that lives here on Hidden Hollow Lane after three times the normal level of carbon monoxide filled their home early Monday morning. We received reader readings above 900 parts per million, which is, which is um, leads to instant coma and convulsions. The 911 call came in around four in the morning. When police arrived, the homeowner who had called for help was just able to answer the door before he collapsed. Inside were his wife and seven-year-old daughter, unconscious in a downstairs living room. So everybody went out of the house. It was unconscious, but we thank God that they all came out alive. All three were taken to the hospital and are now in stable condition. Fire officials say they suffered carbon monoxide poisoning. The fumes, they say, likely coming from a basement heater. When fire crews arrived on scene, they didn't hear the carbon monoxide detector, but that may have been because the levels had risen so high. With readings above 900 parts per million, the CO detector could have become oversaturated and no longer function. Still, neighbors here are reminded once again of a CO detector detector's life-saving role, especially with this colorless, odorless gas, the silent killer. And I always have detectors working in your house because it's very, very important and you don't know when this is going to happen to you. This community here looking forward to this family's return. The father, we're told, is the pastor of a local church. Reporting in Sicklerville, Jane Carabao, CBS3 Eyewitness News.